No. Sí, o estado algo mal. Pero ya, ya mejor. Pero ya estamos de In, low. Ya estamos de toque. Uh, ya, good evening. Ya nos, nos, low. Good evening, teacher. De toque already. Ok. Ya, ya. Yeah. Este, ya, ya pasaron los cinco touch touch. días de, del infierno. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Day on the heaven. Yes. <laughs> Finish day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hoy, hoy logré comer tranquilo ya hoy en la noche. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Great. Good news. Okay. Excellent, my dear. Two. Only two people are connected right now. Yes. Yes. So they people, off. Yeah. Right Some people haven't come <laughs> yes. from, from the, the trip, right? To deposit flowers on tombs. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Today is November the 3rd, and this is class 22. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Topic is how to use will. What is will? Use will. Welcome, okay. to, welcome to your okay. This is the general objective. This is the general objective. The specific objectives. And today's subjective. Continue to, to identify training opportunities for personnel. Okay. Let's see. These are the questions that we're going to be discussing in a moment. Okay. The questions to discuss in a moment. So. Okay. We're going to be discussing the future. Are you optimistic or pessimistic? What do you consider li like? How do you optimistic. Consider yourself optimistic, pessimistic? Optimistic. optimistic. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you see the glass, you see the glass and you say, oh, the glass is half full. While other people say, oh, the glass is half empty. <laughs> okay, excellent. It's good to be positive. Okay, I'm going to call roll right now. I'm going to check who is present and who is uh, absent. We are only nine people present, including me. So means eight. Eight of you are here. Yes. Uh, nine now. Okay. Let's begin. Let's check. Hey. Okay. Ana Delmi Carranza de Guzmán. Present. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Brian Odir Perez Araujo. No. Okay. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Vicentine, Carlos. Sí. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Buenas noches para todos. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. 
Danny Anthony, no. Danny Alberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Nice. Eh, Dolores Molina. Dolores, no. No Dolores. Eduardo Ernesto. Ok, no. Eunice Abigail Chávez. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Presente, Chan. Excelente. Jacqueline Melisa Delgadillo. Ok. José Ignacio Franco. José Norberto Velázquez. Presente, Chan. Ok. Nice, Norbert. Ok. okay. Excelente. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present, present teacher. Marvin. Sí, Marvin Alexander Bonilla Herrera. Excellent. Very good. And Cari, see you, Cari. Okay. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Moisés Eduardo Rivas. Nelson Iván Hernández. Present chair. Excellent. Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Present teacher. Excellent. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Don René is not here. Ricardo Fuentes. Ricardo. Excellent. Present, present. Nice. And Rudy Josue Flores. Present teacher. Good evening. Rudy is absent, right? Okay. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> I, know, Rudy. I heard. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not kidding. Right? I'm kidding. You. Hi. Yeah. Hi, teacher. I am here. No, you're absent. I said, uh, Jose Ignacio and absent. Ah, <laughs> you just, <laughs> <Jose> Ignacio. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Welcome on board, my friend. Welcome on board. Um, yes. Lorena, yes. Marvin, Alexander Lopez, and Victor Hugo Quintanilla, okay? I call them just because of... Let me see then, Don, Don Ignacio is here. All right, who else is here? Nobody else, right? Brian, okay. Danny Anthony, no. Dolores, Eduardo. Present teacher. Present. With Sarai, Dolores Sarai. Oh, okay. Ah, that was one question. Sorry, what's your name? Dolores Sarai or Sarai Dolores? Because yes. on, the, on the list you appear. On the list you appear. Sorry? On the list you appear as Saraí Dolores. Ah, no, es al revés. Dolores Saraí, okay. Yes, yes, teacher. Very good. My friends, um, there are some people, some people that here are, they have a 70%, 70, 78, 75, 74. What's the meaning? You have to be present today, tomorrow, and Friday to get the 80%. Yes. Hopefully you get the 80% because here I have some people with 66.7, okay? 
Don Marvin Alexander Bonilla, please don't be absent any of the three days in any minute. You have to be present the complete session because you need, you have 66.77%. So you need, you need to have, uh, you have only 2,003 2, minutes from 3,000 minutes. So it's, you have to be present, the same as other people here. I will not be saying names because you know. So be present the last three days, the complete sessions. I hope that you get to the 80. There are some people that they don't have to worry, okay? They have 83, 88, 87, okay, 82%. But there are some other people that need to be present. Okay. All right, let's continue with the class. Rudy almost has the 80%, 79.53%. So almost, almost 80%. <laughs> okay. You will be present all the sessions, right, my friend? Yes, of course. Excellent. Very good, nice. Okay, now we're 20 people. So 19 of you and uh, me. Over here, I have a message. Present teacher says Jacqueline. Okay. Present teacher. <laughs> Jackie, it's okay. I'm going to write here present, okay? Very good. Now let's continue. Let's begin with the class. Okay, this, this is the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to discuss this one. You say, teacher, you didn't send it to us. I'm going to send it to you right now because um, I've been very busy today. So I did. I guess I didn't send it to you, right? Did I send it to you? No, I didn't. I didn't, right? Don't worry, right now I'm sending it to you. See if this, uh, my telephone wants to connect. Sometimes it doesn't want to connect. So it's necessary to have the function. Okay, connect please say, it is connected. Okay, excellent. Now let's see. Ta -da, ta -da. I'm going to move this thing up for the moment. When you receive it, please let me know. This is number 22. You received it, right? Yes, the document. Okay. All right, excellent. Very good. Now let's, let's continue. Okay, this is page six. Page six. Yes. So we're going to discuss these questions in the groups. So right now, let's go to the groups. <laughs> the baby. Okay. No. We have a, in reality we are 19, right? So I'm going to six groups. Okay, the groups are open. 
So they are opening right now and uh, we are working on page six. Ah, es, está compartiendo, Rudy. Oh, no, 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 no. Check in my victory. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, um, okay. Ready? Question number one. What will the picture be like? Optimist or negative? I think yes. like I'm what I'm living now, I think is positive. Positive. 
for the moment possible. Okay. Uh, move the word. Improve. Okay, hey, Carlos, uh, we to discuss, discuss the future. Yes. Discuss, discuss the future. Discuss the future, okay. Yes. Um, okay, maybe one of you can share the screen. Yeah, we, we, we can view the screen. And the number one, if, the number one question what will the future be like carlos right. and the second and the uh-huh uh, i would like a future uh, in peace and no gangster. <laughs> uh, when the environment clean uh, and a good a good country for for my for my daughter. And you? Sorry, sorry, Carlos. You have a you 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 have a family. Yeah. Yeah. Our year pollution. But I I hope to be better at the time. I need. We need yeah. better. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think that? And the uh, next question is, we define a better job. Why? You, do you, do you want to, to change your work? Would you like to your, your, your job? I like my job. Yes, it's, it's no. very, yeah. But, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's different every day. Okay. In in my case, I I I like my job, but uh, I would like to find and I will no. I would like to find another another job job. Because mm -hmm. I would like to finally my career, and I would like to work in this. Because it's, I like to 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 uh, to think and me gusta el derecho. Mm. I like law. Sorry. I like. I like. Uh -huh. I like. Yes. Será que yo seré que tengo el problema porque siempre que se habla se se oye así una interrupción. I like. Lo. No. Yo. I like lo. Yes. L L A W. Lo. Derecho. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I like. I like the. I like my career. Mm -hmm. 
I like my job. I uh, travel. Uh, yeah. Other uh, others. Uh, others. Place. Yes, place. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. To to uh, to go to different countries to work. Immigration. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, in my case, I think, I hope my family will be better. Uh, now, um, almost my little brother, uh, the next year, uh, will be graduated. Okay. I hope. Uh, he 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 will be a good job. We will have a good job. And recently, my dad uh, find a new opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I hope the next year can be better. Okay. Okay, um, the, the fifth, the fight. Yes, fight. Uh, will the world be a better place? <laughs> it's a hard question. <laughs> it's a better place. Mm -hmm. A better, a better place. Mm. I think if of the pen, all the people. Yeah, but every every person uh, will be uh, we will create uh, or do good some uh, good things it can be better. For example, uh, can be more ecologic. Um, don't, don't, I don't know, um, don't lie, don't be bad things, don't um, study more, uh, help others, and, and if the persons do good things, the work can be better place. Okay. In my, in my case, uh, depend the the people, the the your education, mm -hmm. the the rules, the rules, the the the. the, the they stay. They stay. Uh, see, the estado stay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The 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 El Salvador. Okay. Yeah, every every people, yeah. every person uh, has the. The opportunity to create better work. Yeah. Okay. The number six is.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now let's continue. We move to the next item. Next item. Okay. Uh, match these terms related to training and personal development to their meanings. Check answers with a classmate. Okay, these ones, we're going to do them together. Okay, I would like you to look at, at the items. Goal, what's a goal? Maybe goal is when you have a dream and you try to achieve this, this, this thing. Excellent. So let us do it in a different way so that we kind of fall into it. Let's see. A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. What is that? What number? One, two, three, four. Uh, match in a desired result. Russell or possible outcome? Okay, let's see. Uh, for the moment, let's begin with a quality that makes ah. for a particular job. A quality, here it says a quality, but in reality it's a, a group of qualities, a set of qualities. That Qualification? Qualification? Yes. So over here we write number six. Yeah. Yeah, let's eliminate that, eliminate that. Yeah, change the color. Maybe this color much better. Okay, and probably the size too, but let's say six, right? Six. six. Okay, excellent. So, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Okay, number six, qualifications. An estimation of income and expenses. <clears throat> uh, I will say it in a different way. The distribution of money Not. on the different areas of necessity in your home or in your personal life. In, in number three. Number three, right? The budget. Budget. The budget. The budget okay. is the organization, the organization of the expenses. How, okay, how much you're going to use? Okay, talking about how you're going to distribute your salary or your wage to the different areas of necessity that you have. Okay, let's see. What about number, the next one? Helpful information number. criticism about the performance of a person. Yeah, feed, feedback, teacher. Number two. And yes, number two. Excellent. Number two. Then the next one. Process of improving the performance of employees. The process of improving the performance of an employee. Number five. Number five, coaching, right? Coaching, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, actually, I don't like the process of improving the performance. I prefer to say uh, the assistance, the assistance someone gives uh, an employee for him to improve. So for me, coaching is the assistance, not the process. Right? So, okay. but that's my humble opinion. My very humble opinion is that it's okay. not a process in itself, but it's an activity. So that's another. 
Check over here. Then we saw say a desired result or possible outcome. Number one. Number one, a goal. Huh? That's perfect. Okay. And the last one, what's the last one without reading it? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> and yeah. break balance of what a person should know. Number seven. Number four. four. Hey, number seven, right? <laughs> number seven. Okay. They should be number four. Mm -hmm. Knowledge. Knowledge. Good. They call it the regular balance of what a person should know. Okay. Let me let me give you an idea of what a gap is. Okay. Um, let's imagine that you go to school and you study five topics. You study yes. five topics and someone was sick and only studied four topics. Okay. The person has a knowledge gap. What's the meaning? One topic that the person didn't study. So the person doesn't know that topic. That is a gap. Another, another example. Let's imagine that, let us imagine a lot because there's any similarity to, real, to reality is mere coincidence. Let's imagine that uh, around March of uh, 2020, there is an announcement that there is a pandemic and we cannot meet again for presential classes. But the teachers, we teachers are used to working only presential. We don't know how to use computers. We know how to use the cell phone. So, so mm -hmm. yeah. how to use the, the board, know how to use markers, how to make lists on paper, how to make exams, printed exams, and to give students for them to answer immediately and in person. But then there is a problem. What's the problem? We don't know how to work online. Because we don't know how to use a computer. We say, hey, where's the button? How do I turn it on? No, you got confused. That's the microwave oven. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was the computer. Okay. So we don't know. So that is information or knowledge gap. Okay. Mm -hmm. The younger generations know how to use a computer, right? They, yes. they know how to use a social know. media like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And of course, they, knew, they know how to use platforms such as Teams, Microsoft Teams, or Google Classroom, or Zoom, right? Or Team. Doodle, or Nimodo, um, no, Nimodo, no. El modo. <laughs> Nimodo. So, well, El Modo, no, I don't know what's the name, no. I forget the name. But anyhow, so this is the gap, information gap, knowledge gap. Younger generations know, but we older generations don't. What do we have to do? Work hard, work hard <laughs> to learn it, right? So that would be okay. 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 Do you have any questions about this information? The goal. Some, okay, the goal, something that we want to achieve, something that we want to do, feedback, the information that we receive, evaluating what we are doing. Okay, so the feedback is the evaluation that we receive from the point of view of the people who are receiving uh, something. Like for example, you say, teacher, I don't understand uh, your explanation. Can you explain it again? That's feedback. 
because I say, oh, oh sorry, I didn't use the correct uh, vocabulary. Maybe the level is too high or I didn't use the appropriate word. So that would be feedback. Budget, the distribution of your salary among the different areas of necessity, transportation, housing, food, et cetera. That is a budget. Say, I'm going to assign 80% of my salary to transportation, okay? 45% of my salary to housing. And then 5% to food. I mean, no way, right? Percent <laughs> to food? No. No. Yes. So, but that is the budget. And then coaching. Coaching is a, the instruction that we give people for them to learn procedures or content that are important to them. Qualifications, qualifications are literally, we can say that are all the abilities, all the abilities that make us suitable for a job, for a position. If we know how to talk to people respectfully, if we know how to use the necessary environments, the necessary, uh, let's say teaching tools, right? Then those are qualifications, okay? So let's move on then. Let's move to the next, next topic, okay? Very good. I was going to have a conversation here, but I think that is enough for, for the time being. Tomorrow, hopefully we have it, okay? Let's see, let's move on. It says identifying training opportunities Maybe you remember I told you yesterday that they use opportunities when we call them necessities. Identifying training necessities for personnel. Yes. Okay. Label the, the description of the process with the right heading. First, let's understand what these things mean. Okay, I would like some people uh, to tell me what do you understand by analyze the job? What's the meaning from your point of view? What's the meaning of analyze the job? Um, mm -hmm. In my case, teacher, Tell me I my think is uh, like to evaluate the result that you're getting from the job that i doing. Okay. Uh, do you think that is evaluating the quality of our job? Yes, I think it's a beginning because if you know that the job is very well, you don't have to analyze the job, but if something is wrong, you have to review the, the process. And then you can focus your attention on the, what it's doing, but what is the part of the process that is not working? Yeah, I agree. You have Teacher. to analyze the area in we are lacking. Uh -huh. Teacher. Tell me, Marvin. I, I'm here, but uh, I work right now in the street in accident because por eso no, no, no puedo poner un poco mucho la cámara. Don't worry, my friend. It's okay. As long as you're listening and you're connected, it's okay. Don't worry. Yes, yes. Sure. Only be careful, right? Yeah. Only be, be careful, my friend. Don't only that. Okay, so analyze the job, okay? It is uh, to evaluate what things were doing well and what things were doing badly, right? Okay, what about identify personnel's current skill uh, or skills and knowledge? What is that? Mm -hmm. 
for example, I think uh, identify that the people have a skill the empresa, the, the, the company need. Mm -hmm. For example, and sometimes the, the, the company need a engineer. Uh, you need to uh, evaluate uh, their, their skill, the, the knowledge you're if, uh, studying at, in some or, uh, university, for mm -hmm. example. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yes, of course. So you identify what the people are already know before you yeah. teach them something else. So that is what we call assessment. The assessment is, okay, we identify what things people know and what their necessities for training are. Okay, what we call the opportunities for training, okay? So excellent. What about ident identity train? Sorry, identify training solutions. What it, first? What is a training solution? Ideas. Um, possible when the company needs uh, knows more about topic, uh, the persons can be to identify that opportunity mm -hmm. and, and find the best training to help the people. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Who else would like to give an idea and an opinion about what is identifying training solutions? Okay, let us imagine that um, you have uh, a waitress or a waiter, a server, but uh, he doesn't know how to address the customer. He doesn't know how to, or she doesn't know how to talk to the customers. What's the necessity of that particular, what is the particular necessity of that person? to improve the communication skills. So then you can look for a company that can provide this type of, I mean, uh, training. So that would be a training solution. You have a problem and you need uh, some training to solve the problem. And when you find the company that provides a training that can be a, a training solution, right? Okay, what about, let me see. Probably it's a bit com, confusing. Let me see again. The training solution is there is a necessity for training, but you don't know who's going to be the trainer. When you find the person that is adequate to provide a training, then of course, this person will come with training solutions to the problems that you have, okay? Let's see, the next one. Evaluate performance after training. Evaluate performance after training. How do you understand that part? Evaluate performance? after training. Dr. Ignacio, what do you think? Okay, I think for example, in our company, the next, the next Sunday, two, and two employees is going to INSA for, in the University Don Bosco in Soyapango. And White employees performance is in the electrician. And our company needs uh, the 
electrician men because 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 the the our, our job is to use the pumping and the um, weather and the different work about the electrician and we need to prepare the person and uh, we I, I think the evaluate performance after training for two employees are to better our our service or is very good is uh, up the good service you know okay is so that, that thing performance after training okay thank you Okay, who else would like to give an opinion about evaluate performance after training? Somebody else's opinion? Uh, okay, during the training, the people uh, knows about different knowledge, a new knowledge. Learn, they learn about skills or they learn uh, skills uh -huh. okay and then uh, example human resources need to evalu evaluate that this person understand the the training sure this okay so they they want to know uh, if the training was effective or efficient, yeah. right? Effective, we'll say. Like for example, they, they see uh, how the, the employees worked before the training, and then they evaluate their performance after the training to see if there is a certain improvement, okay, in their performance. So if there is a, an improvement, this is one way to measure if the training was effective or not. Because if there is no change, there is no change in the attitude or in the skills of the workers, then there is no, I mean, no, I mean, the training was not good. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's evaluate. They want to check if the training was worthwhile or not. If it was good to have the training or if it was not good. If it was good, they can hire the company again. But if, if it was not effective, probably they will not hire the company, the same company that trained the employees again, or the employees again. So that would be the, the idea, okay, excellent. And the last one, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, what is that? Here, more than decide is identify too. Okay, what's a skill? Something that you learn. A skill is something that you learn. What is knowledge? The things that you know. Not necessarily only the theory, but also there is practical knowledge. There is theory. Practical knowledge is experience. Practical knowledge is experience. The gaps is are holes. Holes in the, in the general knowledge of the, of the, let's say, of the job that some people have. An idea, an idea. Let's say like this. Imagine that you have a cook. The cook uh, knows the recipes, knows the time, knows the temperatures at which he must cook the food, but he doesn't know how to use the knife. So he cuts the vegetables or the meat, etc., very slowly. 
and you need to you need him to make it or to do it let's say to do it faster because the customers are waiting and they want the food quickly so what do you think is the gap what's the gap in his knowledge or the knowledge gap using the knife so you have identified you have identified his knowledge gap. Okay, what training solution will you provide for this gap? Teacher, so in other words, knowledge gap is like the information or the conocement, the knowledge that is missing. That is missing it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The knowledge okay. is missing. That is the gap. Okay. An idea, imagine that you have a river. There is a river that on one side of the street, there is a, this part of the street and on the other side of the river, there is another part of the street. Okay, the river part is missing. So we need a bridge. We need a bridge to join the two parts of the street. That is a gap. Yeah, that part of the street is missing, it's a gap. Okay, the same happens if the cook is excellent, the, fla the flavor of his food is delicious. Okay, he knows how to follow the recipes and he knows how to cook the food at the right temperature, how to follow all of the steps. He doesn't know how to use the knife. That is his knowledge gap, okay? That's the, the idea. Okay, excellent. So this is the information. Now let's complete with this. Let's complete uh, this part. Okay. You have to read this part. I'm going to read it to you. And if there is something that you don't understand, I'm not going to complete here because you're going to complete it in groups. But I would like you to, I mean, to listen carefully. If there is something that you don't understand, you tell me, teacher, sorry, this part I didn't understand. Could you please explain it? Okay. It will be my privilege and my pleasure to help you. Okay. Here we go. List all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff. Um, well, all right, this, this part is funny, but it's okay. Ask em employees what areas they need, to they need help with. Number two, find the best way to provide training. Okay, one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one coaching short-term and long-term trainings, e-learning. Decide the option that best fits the needs of your staff and company. Ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if there's still evidence of a deficiency in skills or knowledge. Observe what the employee does or what the employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualifications, training courses, and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information from human resources. And the last one, discuss and describe, discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the processes changed in the description. Okay, let's see. So this one, do you have questions about? What things do you have questions about in this?
Okay. Maybe for the moment, there are no questions. I'm going to be stopping by the groups. And in the groups, you can ask me the questions, all right? In case you have one. So let's right now, let's check. Let's check the attendance. Okay. Today is Wednesday the 3rd. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Odir Perez. Present teacher. Excellent. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. Excellent. Dani Anthony Sigüenza Ventura. Okay. Eh, Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Nice. Yeah. Present teacher. That's nice. Very good. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Present. Okay. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández, present. Okay. Very good. Then Eunice Abigail Chávez. Guadalupe de Carmen López. Present teacher. Hi. Very good. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Very good. Jose Norberto Velasquez. Sure. Excellent. Present. Nice, my friend. Karina okay. Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Nice, baby. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present, present teacher, I be he I'm here. Yes, my friend, very good. Miriam Claribel Jacob. Hello, teacher, I am here. Good evening, my friend, welcome on board. Good evening. Good evening. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Okay, Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Pedrina Ileana Gomez Ortega. Okay, excellent. Rene Osvaldo Bonilla. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Wonderful, that's nice, my friend. Okay, let us see. This is just for the sake of saying the names anyhow. Claudia Lorena Enriquez, Marvin Alexander Lopez, and Victor Hugo Quintanilla. So, anybody present? No, okay. Then, Rudy Josue Flores. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Present. Yes, that's very nice. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Let me move this. Okay. Like I said, we're going to go uh, to the groups and we're going to be working on uh, what number is the page? Let me see, 11, right? So it's going to be 10, 11, because you need to complete, you need to complete with uh, these gaps. You need to complete these gaps one through five with the elements listed on page 10. On page 10, you have the items. On page 11, you have the things that you need to complete. Okay, so let's go to the groups. Let's go to the groups and see how you complete that. All right, let's go. The groups are opening now.
Okay, Don Eduardo, you may enter. Okay. 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 And we're going to put uh, the activities list on the page number 10. So like to do a match. Identify okay. in the page number 11, what is the, the match of the page number 10? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. So in the first one says, list all the opportunities and areas to improvement where training is necessary to increase Seamless, I think that decide if there are a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff, ask employees what areas they need to help with. So what do you think it is? The number one, second, third, fourth, or fifth? For me it is uh, number two, identify personal, current skill and his knowledge. Me too. Mm. Okay. So, but in that case, is the list of necessities. Yes. So, in in which way, in which type, when decide. Or we release, mm -hmm, we release that we have a necessity. Okay. You, you, you say decide. No, when, when I'm missing the number one. Yes. But it can be. So I think is <laughs> the number one. Analysis, uh, analysis the job. Because in that step is where you realize what, uh, what is going wrong. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, Carlitos, are you alone? Uh, Ignacio and, and Richard, a few seconds. They're here, but I don't know. Ahí está. Oh, Ignacio is there. That's why. Don't worry, Don Ignacio. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. And, uh, sorry, uh, Carlos. Uh, We to complete the six in the in the in in the la la busquemos las otras pues Liz our opportunity in the areas of the improvement or training is necessary to increase effectivity. Mm. 
Number four. Number four. It's a evaluate performance after training. Evaluate individual. Number four. Evaluate after training. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is at the number three, three. I maybe is the is the evaluate. Uh, I don't know. Oh yes. Because I ask a staff member to use the mm -hmm. checklist evaluate they they process and no is identified. Is. <clears throat> Identify, identify training solution. solutions. Solutions. Number yeah, three, right? Number three, yes. Number three, yeah. Yes. And o sea, que ya tenemos la, un, la cinco, la cuatro y la tres, ¿verdad? Que sería mm -hmm. como, que van, como que van al revés. <laughs> <laughs> y la, y two. Number two. The, the find the best way to improve training one of one coaching short short term term in long term tra training and let the same number first number first number first number one, no, number one is identify hay que analizar. No será que hay, hay, hay quizás, quizás el nombre FAI es esa análisis de yo. Yeah, I think the, the FAI is analyzed. Okay. Yo digo que pega más en, las, en la nombre FAI. Uh -huh. Vea, si sí, cambiémosla, porque la otra, la, la última, iría en la 4, en la 4. ¿Qué dice Norbert? Sí, está bien. Es well. Ok. Sí, sí, aplica oh. acá. Sí. Now I le amo las de nuevo a ver si no, no hacemos algún cambio. Uh -huh. Aunque yo creo que están bien, porque solo tenía duda en la number four con la number five. Perses. Evaluate performance after training. Okay. <laughs> Sí, así es. Así es. The opportunities areas to improve. ¿Quién más está allí? Eh, Brian. Ajá, Brian, a saber, a saber si está conectado. Brian, ayudo a ver. Brian. No, no está. Only teacher. Okay. Ah, the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, the first, I, I read the, the, the answer and the, and the test. Evaluate performance after training. List all the opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to, to increase effective and effectiveness. Effectiveness. Effectiveness, 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 no, effectiveness, 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 
Ay, me trabo. Effectiveness. 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 Decide if there. The number five. Let me read the number five. So go down, please, a little bit. Okay. Discuss and describe the responsibility of the position with employees, write down the details and knowledge in your match position. Mm, maybe the number five is decide. Decide? Uh -huh. Decide skills and knowledge cup. Maybe, maybe. So what do you think? Do it together. Yes. Number four is analysis. Analysis. Mm. And what women? Check for qualification, training course, and responsibility from previous position. Get more individual information for human resources. This is, this will be. For me, that's it, the number three, identify training solution, maybe. The three. Identify training solution. Or the four, evaluate performance after training. Yes. The number three, as a staff member to use checklist and evaluate the process. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence and the deficiency in skill or knowledge. Knowledge. For me is identify train pers personals <laughs> <laughs> because eh, es que yo entiendo como que identificar las habilidades y, y los conocimientos actuales que tienen los que tienen el staff conocimientos uh -huh. mediante un checklist <risa> teacher <risa> <We are lost. risa> is confused <risa> <We are confused. risa> is very confused <risa> I imagine Dolores, but you know, <laughs> actually what one, what your partners did is they had the answers. I mean, they had the items on one half of the screen in the other half, they had this. And so matching was easier for them. Yeah, because you have to go look and then come back and then go look and then come back is more difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But don't worry, the idea is that you this. Okay. Vamos a ver. acá. Bueno. Okay, you read the first. Brian. 
Yes, Brian. The first, the number one. <laughs> no, fine. fine. Ah, yes, the fine. Analyze. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Fine. 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 Analyze the job. Discussion describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicator of knowledge and skill that skill that match the position. Identify the process change in the description. Okay. <laughs> well. Uh, and you agree with our answers? Sorry, what is the the correct for, for the pronunciation knowledge? Knowledge. What is the mean? Knowledge. Knowledge. Mm. Conocimiento. Knowledge. 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 All of the things that you know. Knowledge. Knowledge. Teacher. I I I don't understand uh, the the words gaps. Okay, I'm going to tell you that gap is like a hole. Okay, for example, when we talk about generation gaps, like um, when you are too young, a lot of uh, things in the past that you didn't study. I mean, they, you didn't know. Like, for example, they, they tell you, ah, President Molina made it official to have suspiros and horchata for birthday, for children's birthday parties. And you say, ah, you don't know that because you are too young. Mm -hmm. There is a gap. Okay, there is something that a generation knows and another generation doesn't know. Like, for example, there is a generation gap on the other side. You were born with a computer under the arm and you know how to use it. But um, there are people that this year or last year, they saw a computer for the first time and they were afraid of the computer. They didn't know how to use it, etc. So over there, there is a generation gap. Like uh, your generation knows and our generation doesn't. So, okay, gap is an empty space. It's an empty space in the knowledge. Like uh, what you know, I don't know. It. I have the gap. What I know, you don't know it. You have the gap. So that is the the idea. For example, uh, when I was shy, uh -huh. uh, I I watch some cartoons, but now is not the same. Is the others, and I talk with my little brother. For example, when I was shy, I so ruglas. Uh, I don't know other cartoons. Uh huh. That is a gaps. Yeah. A knowledge to past generations. Sure. There is a gap. Mm -hmm. I know I watched Ultraman. I know I watch Ultraman. I watch Messenger Z. You didn't watch them. And then you say, watch Messenger. That. I know messenger because it was people would say sheriff four feathers. <laughs> sheriff four feathers. Yeah. Yeah. That's I know that cartoon. And you say, oh, and what is that? Exactly. There is a gap. Mm -hmm. There is a gap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Let's write the ones that you are sure of. Find the best way to provide the training. One-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term trainings, e-learning, decide the option that best fits the needs of your staff and company. Which one is that one? Uh, we decide as identify training solution. Excellent. Identify training solutions. Yes. yes, absolutely. Then you read another one and you say, discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee, write down indicators, put it here in the, write down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position for which the, the, the future employee is asking. Identify the processes, change in the description. This part is the one that doesn't match, but then the rest, yes, because Identify the processes changing the description. What is that? That is the part that you say. Um, what in the name of God did they want to say? But, <coughs> but uh, discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee. Write down indicators of knowledge and skill that are okay, that are good for the position. What is that? Anita, they say, and say you. Anna, analyze the joy. Analyze the job. Mm -hmm. Analyze the job. Excellent. Okay, dokie. Then, okay, we have. Ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Progress means that they are studying, they are learning. Look, look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of a deficiency in skills of knowledge. Over here, we're talking about something that is changing, but it's improving. Why is it improving? Because there is training. So this is what? Identify. I'm sorry, this is what? Identify. Evaluate performance after training. Evaluate performance after training. Exactly. Identify, so evaluate performance after training. Oki and Doki. So, how do you know that they are evaluating? They're using a checklist. They're using a checklist. And the word here it says evaluate their progress. So, evaluate performance after training. Okay. <laughs> To be sincere with you, to be honest, it doesn't sound like it is after the training. It is during the training. Why? Because it says there is still evidence of deficiency, right? It means that you are still in progress, but there are other things here. Progress, progress. Know how much they learn. So that's why we say that it's not after the training, but it's okay. This is the only one that fits right. Okay, now let's see. Observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualifications, training courses, 
the responsibilities from previous positions, get more individual information from human resources. So what are we doing? Decide. decide. Identify personnel skills and knowledge, right? So we say what the person already knows, what he does well, and what needs improvement. So this would be this one because of the knowledge gaps. But it's also this one because it's current skills and knowledge. Okay. So what do we say? What do you want to write in that one, number four? Here is the opportunities for improvement. Maybe this one, right? Decide skills and knowledge camps. Okay, so the last one would be what? Which one is missing here? Identify. Dictate. Identify person. Identify. Personal. 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 Current skill and knowledge. Identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay. My dear ones, if you got confused, <laughs> I understand it because it's not easy. There are some things that you say, mm, okay, right? But okay, so no problem. Let's continue. Let's keep on keep, keep on going. All right, we fin we finish with what the manual says. Now let's continue with will. Okay. We normally we normally use will to speak about the future. It is always combined with another verb. For example, you say, uh, I will go home now. Go home now. I'm tired. I will go home now, I'm tired. So this is in combination with another verb, will go. Nothing here, nothing else. Will going, mm -mm. will went, uh -uh. Uh, anything else, only will go. All right, since will is classified as a modal verb, like can, would, could, should, it has the same characteristics. What characteristics? Number one, it does not change in the third person. What's the meaning? You never say wills. Wills. Uh -uh. He will, she will, it will. No S is added. It is always combined with another verb. I will go, I will stay, I will play, I will cook. In the verb form, not to, okay? We don't use it with we do in questions or negatives. So we don't use it, we do. We don't say, do you will study the lesson? Uh -uh. We say, will you study the lesson? Will you study the lesson? Okay, so that's the meaning. Okay, examples of what? I will go to the cinema tonight or the cinema tonight. He will play tennis tomorrow. She will be happy with the exam results. They will take the bus to the south next week. Okay. Now then, when to use will? When do we use will? Number one, for things that we decide to do 
Now, people say rapid decisions. Okay, I call them reactions. Why do I say reactions? We react to a necessity. An example, um, or not necessity, but to the moment. We react to the moment. Okay, Don Ignacio is driving his Ferrari down the street. And uh, the teacher is walking in the street. And Don Ignacio sees the poor teacher walking down the street and says, hey, where are you going? And I say, I'm going home. And where is home? Um, in this place. And Don Ignacio says, don't worry. I'll take you. I'll take you. It's a decision that he's making in the moment. Don't worry. I will take you. Right? A decision in the moment. Another example. Uh, Karina is passing by a store, a clothing store in Metro Center, right? She sees a fantastic blouse that her eye. She really likes it. And she says, look at that blouse, it's beautiful. And she enters the store and she asks the lady, excuse me, how much is that blouse? The lady says, $20, $20, okay. And she checks one pocket, $5. Checks the other pocket, $5. She takes off her shoe and takes out $10. And she says, eh, eh, I have $20 here. And she says, I will take it. Give me that blouse, I'll take it. It's a decision in the moment. Yes, so we use will to talk about spontaneous decisions, okay? These are made spontaneously. This is when you make a decision at the moment in a spontaneous way. Okay, for example, someone says, I have to go home now. And you say, don't go. I cannot take you to your house. I'll call a taxi for you. I'll call an Uber for you, okay? So that is, uh, you say, I think I uh, will go right now. It's getting late. So it's something that I decided in the moment. Which one do you want? Uh, I will have the chicken sandwich, please. I will have the chicken sandwich, please. It's a decision in the moment. They bring you the menu. And you normally say, I'll have the filet mignon. I'll have the fish. I'll have the prime rib, okay? So number two, when we think or believe something about the future, that is a prediction, usually it's based on routinary actions. Actions, people, do. for example, Miguel didn't come on Monday, he didn't come on Tuesday, he didn't come on Wednesday. Today is Thursday, prediction, he won't come, right? It's based on what? Previous days, okay. Um, the teacher finishes the class late. He finished the mm. class late on Monday, finished the class late on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. No. Today is Friday. You say, any chance a teacher will finish the class early? I doubt it. He will finish the class late. Right? Prediction yeah. on routine. Okay, so this can be based on personal judgment too, or opinion. Example, the president will not be reelected at the next election. Personal opinion, right? I think mm will rain later, so take an umbrella with you in case it rains. I think you will find the movie interesting. Means yeah. it's my opinion that you will find the movie interesting. So that would be examples. Now, not, not, notice how often you use I think and then will. I think Maria will like the roses. Give them to her, right? 
I think, I think I will go home now. I think she will come late. I think it's in the future. Number three, to make an offer, a promise, or a threat. What's an offer? Hey, don't worry. I'll open the door for you. Don't worry. I'll help you with that. It's an offer. A promise. I will always love you. Oh, really? OK. Uh, and next year, I will build schools and hospitals. And I will make you rich. And you won't have to work because I will give you everything that you need. And all the people, wow, the president, wow. So it's a promise. The boyfriend promises the girlfriend, I will always be with you. It's false. <laughs> he says, I, I, will, want my letter. <laughs> I will give you shoes, I will give you clothes. And the boy says, wow. Yes, I will give you shoes to polish. Yeah, in, include the include the Pacific train. <laughs> yes, including the Pacific train. <laughs> All right, so that is a promise, right? It's a promise. Now, threat. If you talk to my daughter, I will kill you. Threat. Okay, so. If you promise that you will do something bad to somebody, it's a threat. Yes? If you come to give me a serenade, says the girl, I will throw water at you. That is a threat. Yes? Okay. Now, check over here. You look tired. I'll finish the dishes for you. What is that? An offer, a promise, or a threat? It's an, I will finish the dishes for you. You look tired. I'll finish the dishes for you. I will do my best to help you. What is that? An offer, a promise, or a threat? Promise. Promise. It's a promise. The next one. If you say anything, I will kill you. Who's that? Threat. 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 It's a threat. Another one. I will have it ready by tomorrow. What's that? What is that? I will have it ready by tomorrow. Promise. Promise. Let yes. us only P. Promise. Drive you to work if you want. What's that? an offer okay don't worry i won't tell anyone i will not tell anyone what is that it's a promise yeah number four for a habit that is a predictable behavior my my daughter will fall asleep as soon as she's put into bed is predictable. He will give up if he starts losing. He always does that. Okay, for example, every time there is an earthquake, the girl runs and runs and runs and gets under the table. So, it's a, roof. It's a little movement. He says, ah, you will see, she will run and hide under the table because it's a predictable behavior. It's the way she always does. Okay, he will promise and he will not give you anything. 
How do you know? Yeah. Many times he has promised, and many times he hasn't given anything. So that is a predictable behavior. So number five, you use want when someone refuses to do something. I won't tell you. Hey, come on. Tell me how to do that. Teach me how to do that. Mm -mm, I won't. That is refusal. I told him to clean his room, but he won't do it. He won't do it. She won't listen to anything I say. She won't listen to anything I say. Negative sentences with will. In the negative, we add not to the end of will and not to the main verb. I will, and not to the main verb, to the to will. Will not, won't. I will not be in the office tomorrow. I will be not in the office tomorrow is incorrect. They will not stay here. They will stay not here is incorrect. So the only correct form is I will not stay here. So I won't stay here. I won't be in the office tomorrow. Questions. Will they win the cup? Yes, they will. Mm, no, they won't. No. Will you tell him the truth? Yes, I will. No, I won't. Will she get angry? Yes, she will. Or no, she won't. Okay. Now let's get to the task. It says complete with will and a verb. We have pages uh, 17 19. and 19 only. So let us do it together. Who wants to do number one? We need to add will and a verb. What do we say? The famous I will love you. <laughs> exactly. I will love you forever and ever. Amen. Right? And I will always love you. And you say, oh yeah, sure, of course. Okay, number, the next one. Who wants to do the second? You? You will buy. You will buy a tie. What else? What do people do? What is the verb that we studied? Do you remember? You will wear. Wear, right? You will wear a tie. You will wear a tie. He. <laughs> what do you do with tea? He will drink a Exactly. Um, he will drink green tea. Okay, green tea is good, only for three months. After that, no more. You have you to make more. It's too hot. It it damages your kidneys. Okay, so number three, the next one. She will make. Okay, but imagine that you say pass. What do you say? She. You will pass. She will pass the test. Okay, it. Will rain, rain. It, it will rain, exactly. It will rain tonight. Nah, not anymore. Well, in my house, no. Oof, long time ago, it stopped raining. We, what do you do with the email? Receive. Okay. Mm -hmm. send. Send, right? We will send an email. Send. We will send an email. Okie dokie. You will yes. eat make. Okay, also, right? You will eat the food. That's the part that we like. We'll make the food. Mm, no, please. Let's order food. Let's co let's order a pizza. They what? 
They will check check the match. They will lose the match. They will lose mm -hmm. the match. This girl. Will be. Will be. This girl will be a pilot. This girl will be a pilot. My parents. Will travel. Will go. Okay. Will travel. My parents will travel to Africa. There is hunger in Africa. They need to eat missionary. <laughs> now they need to eat missionary. All right. So the next one. Complete with will. I, what do we say? I will call I you will. later. I will call you later. Number two, you. You will travel by train. You will travel by train. Number three, number three, he. We will come soon. Come soon. Four, Rose. Rose will play with us. Rose will play with us. Five, the weather. Will be better. Will be better. Will be better. The weather will be better. Six, we. We will be have a pizza. We will have pizza. We will have pizza. Seven, you. Five, you will a build house. a new house. You will build a new house. Eight. They. They will go to the, the beach. beach. Go to the beach next Saturday because they will be free. Okay. Yes. Friday. Fra uh, Friday. No. Friday. Normal <laughs> class. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Normal yeah. on Friday. So Saturday. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the children what? We'll do it. The children will do it. Mm -hmm. The children will do it. Who will clean here? Ah, the children will do it. Okay, okay. number 10. No one but no one. We'll survive. We'll survive. survive. We'll survive. Yes, World War Zombie. World War Zombie. No one will survive. Resistance is futile. Okay. Yes. All right, complete with will. Complete with will. To make the questions, we play will at the beginning. What do we say? Will. Would you go with us? Will you? Yes. Like a request. An invitation. Will you go to the party? Would you go to the party? You go to the party? No. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. What do you say? Will you ever call me? Will you ever call me? Mm, no, I will never call you. Oh, imagine. Mm -hmm. Oh, too bad. Okay, see you tomorrow. Will I see you will tomorrow? I see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Sure, I'll come here early. Okay, another question. What do we say? Will you be there? We there? Yeah. Will you be there? Next month. Okay, teacher, next month, what do we need? We need the complete thing. Okay, what do we say? We you need come. Okay, well, will you come? You come next month? Yes, I will. Here. Uh, you learn Chinese. Will you learn Chinese? Will you learn Chinese? Okay. Come back soon. Will you come back soon? Come back soon. Will you come back soon? Do me a favor. Okay. Teacher, yeah. help me. Will you do me a favor? Exactly. Sure. Will you do me a favor? Will you do me a favor? Yes, yes, yes. Bye, my dear. Hello. Hello.
The last one? Will you? Will you buy a, a tractor? You... Sorry, here is a list. Let's cross out your. Will you buy me a tricycle? Daddy, will you buy me a, bike, a tricycle? No, I'm saving money. By the time I save enough, I will buy you a bicycle <laughs> because it will take time. All right, so the answers. Will you go with us? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Will you go to the party? No. No. No, I, I want. 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 I want. No, I won't. The next one. Will you ever call me? Call. Yes. Will. I will. Yes, I will. Will I see you tomorrow? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Will you be there? No, no. I won't. No, I won't. Will you come next month? No, I won't. I will travel. Will you learn Chinese? No. No, I learn English. No, I will learn English, right? No, I won't. I will learn English. The next one. Will you come back soon? I don't know. I don't have money or travel. <laughs> Say yes, I will. But I, to be honest, oh. I don't know. Only God knows the future. Now, will you do me a favor? Sure. What do you want? Sure. What do you need? Sure. What can I do for you? The next one. Will you buy me a tricycle? Yes. I will. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the last one that we were supposed to, well, but, okay, this one, hey, hey, make predictions, probably no time for that. How do you make this question? How do you make the question? I'm going to make small to be. Will you go with us? Will you go with us? Will you go with us? Let's make it smaller because it's too big. Here. Okay, will you go with us? And the next one? Where? Where will we? Where will we meet? Meet. Where will we meet? The next one. When? Will it start the film? Yeah, normally we use do. When? When does the film start? We say when will film start the film? When will the film start? The next one. We, we will travel by a car. Will we travel by car? Will we travel by car? Next one. What? What will the children learn? What will the children? What will the children learn? 
The next one. It will rain tomorrow. Will it rain tomorrow? Will it, will it rain? Will it rain? Tomorrow? Will it rain tomorrow? How much? Will the rain cost? How much will, how much will the rain cost? How much will the ring cost? Why? Why will no one? Sorry. Why will no one play with me? Why will no one play with me? Because you're too rude. Okay. Who, who will believe? Will believe that his that believe story. That story. How old? Who will believe that story? The how next. Old, how old? How old it will be? How old? How old it will be? Will it? How old will it be? How old will it be? Very old. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have time for the predictions. You can think in your house. Think about the weather. Think about education, money. What predictions can you make? Will the weather change? Will it rain tomorrow? Education. Will we improve our education and um, educational system? Etc. So make predictions. But for us, we're going to stop here. So let me call Ron. So that now that you're still awake. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Nadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Present teacher. Nice. Brian Udir Perez Araujo. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. Nice. Present teacher, present. Okay, Brian, right? Okay. Daniel yes. Nisigüenza. Eh, Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Nice. Dolores Araí. Present teacher. Nice, Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Present. Nice, Eunice Avila Chávez. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Nice, Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Okay. José Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Ben Norberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent. Karina Elizabeth Present teacher. Wonderful. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher. I'm here. Excellent. Very good. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. I am present teacher. Excellent. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Don Moy. No. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Present teacher. Nice. Pedrina Ileana Gomez. Present teacher. Excellent. Neos Valdo Bonilla. Present teacher. Right. Nice. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Now, Claudia Lorena Enriquez Rivera. Okay. We say Ilnia Paisi. Okay. So. Marvin Alexander Lopez, either. And Ruth Oswell Flores. Present teacher. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. I 
I know that sometimes it's very difficult because of time, you're tired, you're busy, but you were present. I really appreciate your being here. Okay, tonight, raining. Uh, tonight Danny Anthony Siwenza will stay, but probably I will be alone. Okay. So because we don't have possibility. Okay. Well, my dear Nitos, say like this. Uh, we finish here. I will let you go home. Well, <laughs> do your homework. Do your homework. Listen. Listen, my friends. Some of you participate beautifully in the class. But some of you haven't done the final exam. Do the final exam. Do the homework that you're missing, yes? Yes, I know that it will take you some time, but I want to see you graduate. You are very intelligent, you can do it. So if you haven't done it, please do it, okay? You can do it. We only have tomorrow and Friday. Friday, we have the the encuesta de satisfacción. On Friday, you're going to evaluate me, okay? And uh, it's not about the, the book or the, the pamphlet that we use. No, no, it's about me. So you're going to be evaluating me. You have to say what you feel, okay? Nobody's going to say, hey, you have to say good things about the teacher. No, no, tell the truth, okay? Tell the truth. But the important thing for me is that you learn. Nothing else, okay? Nothing else, what you learn, okay? So please complete those things. Thank you very much for staying. I will be seeing you around, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Tani Anthony. Good night, Jacqueline. Okay, good evening, uh, Danny. How are you?